and of course we uh, the three options are not good for us so we created another option which is we refuse to be enemies mm -hmm. and we started the tent of nations mm -hmm. as an answer for the for all this evil because in our in our situation we want to prove to people you cannot overcome or uh, or defeat the evil with evil mm -hmm. you have to do it with good and because it's also this is the christian message mm -hmm. and uh, it is also to show other people that we are stronger then you know like reacting differently is a very strong message mm -hmm. so we uh, the, this is the idea of the tent of nations is to open the farm for people from uh, from different cultures backgrounds religions including israelis mm -hmm. to come learn about our situation and also try <coughs> to build bridges of understanding first of, then you know the, the second step is reconciliation and then peace because in our opinion Peace will never come uh, just through a handshake between Palestinians and Israeli politicians, you know, uh, in front of uh, of the White House or you know somewhere else. No, it should grow from the grassroots. You know, you need we need to find a foundation for peace. Uh, the same as as what Jesus said, you cannot build a house on a sandy land. So you need to have uh, rocks to have the foundation. Um, and this this uh, will never come just through uh, being disconnected from the other, mm -hmm. because I know the Israelis as uh, radical settlers or soldiers. This is our image of the Israelis, mm -hmm. generally speaking. The Israeli people they know us as also as uh, radical Palestinians, mm -hmm. but there are people from both sides who believe totally differently. But the, because of this uh, this you know uh, disconnection from each other. You know, people cannot come and learn about the other as human beings. Mm -hmm. you know? um, yesterday, uh, I had two visitors, um, Israeli, um, and they wanted to bring a group on the 10th of March, Israeli group, mm -hmm. um, to know about the other. So I was explaining the idea is not is not to convince the other. You know, uh, the idea is like to open the eyes. Like to, to see the other with different perspectives, you know? and then go back home. And if you if they try to if they would like to learn more, the door is open. If they say, well, I don't want to to deal with these issues, it's also okay. But at least to see, you know, to have the opportunity to see and the, and to connect the situation with the faces of the people, because mostly we are talking about numbers, about incidents, about attacks and so on but we are for uh, we are forgetting to talk about faces people you know names you know to connect the situation with the faces and this is what we are trying to do with our project here uh, to bring the conflict to its lowest levels so that people can understand what is going on now on my own land i'm not allowed to have running water no electricity and no building permits so, of course, this is a frustration, and this is the idea of the Tent of Nations, to invest our frustration constructively, mm -hmm. because our frustration is a power that might go out in a negative way and hurt people, but we want our frustration to be invested or to, to be, to be uh, channeled, you know, in a different way, to, so to transform our pain into constructive power. And uh, we said, since we are not allowed to build on the ground, let us build under the ground, let us renovate caves. And we renovated the family cave and other caves. So we have this cave and we have a chapel also here. Um, uh, no water, we have rain, uh, assistance collecting rainwater. No electricity, we have a diesel generator sponsored by American friends. And uh, since a couple of months we have a solar power system. So this light is coming from the sun, actually. And the idea is, um, this is this is done by German friends. The idea is, um, you know, um, to do something. Even the situation is very hard. We are not allowed to be the victims. Very important. You know? And we want to show people why uh, why to be uh, why to be in this victim mentality. Uh, why not to move out and try to act differently, in a positive way. You know, okay, there are so many reasons to be frustrated, you know, and we, we, if I want to tell you stories, many stories, of course, you know, 
uh, and you go and speak to other Palestinians the same story. You go to you go and talk to Israelis, they will tell you the, almost the same story, you know, from their perspectives, of course. But uh, there is a different, difficult situation to act differently, you know. So that's why we want to show people, you know, not to focus on the negative things that are happening in our lives. Keep going, you know, focus on the vision for a better future and try to do it in a step-by-step -step process. And then we started organizing uh, uh, different activities and camps here, learning by doing. So we do a tree planting campaign. And every year we plant uh, between 1,000 and 3,000 trees. And we're inviting Israelis, Palestinians, internationals to come and plant for peace. The idea is not to educate people by lecturing them, no, by doing. Doing something good mm -hmm. for us, for the nature, for ourselves, you know, and, and try, uh, you know, try to, to keep going this way. And also through this, we, uh, we learn that peace, as I said before, should grow from the grassroots. You know? We have to find, to find a ground for peace, the same as to find a ground, a good ground for an olive tree to, to, uh, to grow. Because wh when, you, when we plant a tree, we need the first and the second year to water the trees, especially in summertime, very hot, uh, twice a week. And we do all of that by hand, you know, a lot of work. But then the, the tree will have a deep root, roots, and then can live for generations. This is, in our opinion, how we can achieve peace. You know, we do also summer camps. I will show you by the house there. We do mosaic <coughs> with children. We try to collect broken tiles out of the garbage with the children to show them, you know, that there is a future. You know, but you have to shape your future by your own hands. Mm -hmm. Nobody will do, will do it for you, and nobody is giving you as a gift. You have to be able to do it by yourself. Okay, if others are, um, they want to help, yeah, they are welcome to do so, but the way we want, but not the way they want. Because talking about, let us say now, the financial aid that are, is coming from abroad to Palestine is making us more depending on and not bringing us in, in self-sufficiency. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. You know, here we ask people, for example, friends, if they ask us, what can we do here? We say, sponsor trees. Mm -hmm. you know, so because sponsoring trees, you are, you are keeping this place green and also productive. You know? mm -hmm. Or uh, we said, uh, if you want, uh, what's, uh, one time the church said, what can we do you know, in the United States? They said, okay, uh, um, maybe you can sponsor a system to dig a system and collect rainwater, you know, mm -hmm. or a diesel generator, or the solar power system, you know, always any help that makes us self-sufficient, you know. Mm -hmm. um, 